Yeah, you up there? Yeah, you shot a one. Shot a one. Yeah, hey, you come right. I was shot by and Shemi, I was shot by, by Shemi and Kakodash. And double on the city apostles and the of great men stone that you will. He some lessons to the elect. Right there. Eh? As I say, a couple brothers from the GM and Shemi are camping. They come to give off the sacrifice unto the heavenly father and his only begotten son. Shemi. In this dismal and decrepit, decrepit world. Um, I've been Trinidad and Tobago and as we hear this place, you know, the, the kind of semi, not semi, cheap water lock it up because of the spike in the um, COVID, so-called, the so-called spike in the COVID, the kind of cheap water lock it up, you understand? Know and the, the lockdown churches and the say gatherings. Hmm. It's up to five. No. So Yeah, they say five people Yeah. Yeah, the lockdown majority of the places. And then they say in a public space, five people could gather, so hey. Be in a public space. So. And then they talk. Huh? Yeah, they look the old because there's always the lime in there. You understand? Yeah, yeah. They say, they say more than, no more than five people could gather in public spaces. So, you know, we use discretion and we ain't gathering in, 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 in mass numbers. We split up the camp and thing. We split up the camp and thing. And we do. You know, we do we work according to that. But nevertheless, this place is about to collapse. Alright? This place is about to collapse. And um, people will feel the wrath of the Heavenly Father very soon. Right. Well, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 13 and verse 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. But he shall be saved out of it, alright? And that you come in. Jacob shovel coming on this place. And it's it, it, it building up, it's a build up. It's a thing the Heavenly Father gradually putting in place. You people will feel how harsh it is to disobey the Hawabah Shabbat. Because when they disobey the Lord's commandment, the Lord gave his people a commandment. The children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob tell you what to do. As to live and, 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 and to avoid punishment, as the scripture says. Um. But, but you people, all they do any things to avoid punishment. All they do any things to get punishment. So then, what will go on is punishment will be issued. Mm -hmm. Punishment will be handed to you people, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, primarily because you are the children of the Heavenly Father. That's right. All they will be punished. Why the Heavenly Father? You understand? Rebellion is as you said, I will scrap the script. Can I say, I'm a preacher there again? Can. Can. In yeah. the book of Psalms, chapter 46, the 7 to 8, it says, The Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, of course, is with us. The power of Jacob is our refuge. Salah. It says in verse 8, Come behold the works of the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai. What desolation. He had made in the earth. Right. The Heavenly Father, you know, as we see in front of our eyes, we see it going on in, in, in diverse places. You understand? Earthquakes, volcano eruptions. You understand? Recently in India, alright? Them healings and them realize that God's in doing nothing, the God's profited nothing. You understand? What's going on in Trinidad right now? The place. The place laid desolate. The place in desolation right now. This city we, we just come here and preach, you know. Hey, the place clear right now. You know? <laughs> the Heavenly Father dipping his finger here. And we at that time and it's the Heavenly Father doing this work. And, and the prophets out here, you know. Telling you so-called so -called blacks, Latinos and Native American Indians to repent. So this is what it's all about. Alright? Yeah, too. Ah. Yeah, Rima, Rima.
Mm -hmm. Zelda to turn back will result in death. In death. Shit, it, it, it don't have no, it don't have no in between. You mm. refuse to turn back, you have to go and kill your ass. Kill it. I'm a shake. precept here. A shake. Book um, Ezekiel, hmm. chapter 21 and verse 9. It says, Son of man, prophesy. Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, mm. say, A sword, a sword, a sharper, and also further. Right. That it may glitter. Mm. The sword is the sword is sharpened and also furbish. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. Mm. It is furbish that it may glitter. Should we then make mud? It contemned the rod of my son as every tree. Mm. And he had given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. Mm. And, and by Esau. Because ultimately Esau is going to come down with great wrath. You know Revelation 12 and 12. Uh, sure. Esau is going to come down with great wrath on the day. Or well, you don't know what's coming. Mm. As much as we out here, we have to come and warn the people of the Heavenly Father. Can. Ready up? Good. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 12 and verse 12. It says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knew it that he had but a short time. Right. He knew it that he had but a short time. So what he going to do because of that short time? How does he first begin? How does he know he have a short time? What indicated to him? That day, your time short. Hmm. Why, why give him that indication? When the, when, the, when, when the prophets come on the scene, he said, Isaac. That's right. It's just like uh, Matthew 2, and I believe you can start from 14. That was for sure. 2 and 14? Huh? 14? 14? When the punch, uh, pilot started, Herod. Herod was. Uh, start from 1. Oh. All right. The book of Matthew, chapter 2 and verse 1. It says, Now when Yahawashai was born in Bethlehem of, Ju of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men, they, they, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east. Hmm. And I come to worship him. Right. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all Ju Jerusalem with him. Right. Huh. It says. Why, why was he troubled? Huh? Because he, he, he realized the time short. <laughs> so why he, why he proclaimed himself? King of the Jews? King of the Jews. Herod, Herod was king of the Jews, right? He said that, but he was a Edomite. Mm -hmm. And then when our Lord was born, when our Lord was born, and Herod was the devil, was the seed of the devil. When our Lord was born, Yahushai Hamashiach, he get frightened, he get trouble. When he, when he, when the wise men came and, he, and they saw the star, and Herod, he about that, that trouble him. Why did that trouble him? Because he realized the time short. Can. Kingdom coming to an end. That was the indication. Yahushai. So right now, the indication for Esau that his time is short is us, the prophets, mm -hmm. the apostles and them, a great millstone all the way down. All these, all these Israelite camps mm -hmm. that are springing up all over the four corners of the earth. That indicated that there's Edomite that the time short. That's right. And because he know that, because he know that, he is going to use that same sword that I just read about in Ezekiel. Mm -hmm. The second and the twenty-first chapter, he go and use his sword. The sword is them fucking them guns and them them guns that he, that these military the military personnel have of the so-called white man. Them guns, them them um martial law troops. Nukes. Not really the nukes so much yet. Yeah. yeah. The nukes is the end game. Mm -hmm. But before that is Jacob shovel. Like when the FEMA troops and all of them come in by the thousands, when the enemy shall come in like a flood. flood. Right? 
That, that, that is a sword, they go and use that sword. You got a sharpener, sharpener that means in the prepare in the self mm -hmm. right now. They're getting ready, the training, they're doing what is what necessary, and then they're going and come and fuck up the Israelites. They're going and come in your cities, they're going and kick down your doors, they're going and come. They're going and come for you. You understand? Because you didn't want to hear the words of the Heavenly Father, which the men of the Lord been proclaiming from day one. You didn't want to hear it. They refused to listen. Right? First, Second Chronicles 2. Second Chronicles 36 after. Oh, for sure. 36 out of 2? Out 15. 15. Yeah. Book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 36 and verse 15. It says, And the Lord Yahweh power of their fathers sent to them by his messengers, rising up their times and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. Right. And that is what he do all now. That's right. Because of the compassion of the Lord, he sent out his prophets. Right? It says in verse 16, But they mocked the messengers of Yahweh. But, and, it's, and it's likewise, all now, mm. mm. they're mocking us. Right? And despise his words. Despise his words. Right? And misuse his prophets. Right? Until the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, arose against his people, till there was no remedy. Till there was no remedy. That is what going on come. Then go on no remedy. Mm -hmm. Then go on no healing instruments for you. Mm -hmm. Nothing to heal all you. When them bruises start to come down all you and them fucking whiplashes from the heathen, nothing could be used to stop it. That's right. And the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is who say that coming. That's Not right. Me. Not me, the scripture say, go under the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. You have a piece of Revelation 11 and 14. What? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 14. It says, the second war is past, and behold, the third war coming quickly. And that is World War III. Mm -hmm. The third war, that coming. But before that come, all your people are the feeling right. And he lost Jacob's shovel. Jacob's shovel had to come. That third war had to come. When that third war come, that was the moment when everything cut off. Everything. Mm -hmm. Everything cut off. No one nothing. There's nothing. You think one has no food, no? Because when World War Three comes, ships going and stop across the seas. You see you people. Well, you forget that we is not a producing nation, but we is a consuming nation. We hmm. hardly produce, we consume more than we produce. We import, we import majority of our food. Everything majority is majority imported and less homegrown. And because it is majority imported, when them time come, that the brother just read about, Times like World War III, times like Jacob Shop, times like a mass, a worldwide uh, uh, uprising of the people and chaos all throughout the world. Times like these, when jobs stop, when work, you turn on no more work, none of these things, when all these things stop and, and it's just pandemonium on the fourth from east, west, north, and south mm. on the earth, right? And, and, and these times reach, right? And times like these, Seeing that we are not a, a, a local producing nation where we produce real food, we own rice, we own, we own sugar, we own um, flour, we own uh, um, oils, we own everything. We, we don't produce these things. We own meat, we own livestock, we, own, we, don't have, we, don't have, we don't have these things in abundance. Mm -hmm. The majority import these things. When these times come on the face of the earth, when the countries that we import these things from, can no longer stock up a, 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 and full of containers and put it on a ship because on their in their country is still more and in this country is still more and in that country is still more so they can no longer in a mass way stock up and put containers on a ship to feed us mm. 
where the hell we got any food from? And all you seem to forget her. That's why all you believe the system always going to continue. It's always going to have continuance in this place. This place going to fucking end. That's right. Now I enter this place. That's right. Where? The book of Second Edges, chapter 6 and verse 22. It says, just to back up with the big brother, I was saying about farming. Farming is coming to this place. It says, and suddenly, share to the point, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Straight up. Straight up, man. See? Because your storehouses is not based off of what you locally grew and put in your fucking groceries. It's based on Kellogg's. Hmm. It's based on um, what you talk about here? Who does use that again? From yeah. America. Yeah, Kellogg's okay. brand. The Kellogg's. Frito Lays and Lays yeah, and Lays Pringles and, and fucking M&M's and, and chicken. Cadbury's and the fun, as they say, the funny chicken and all of these things. The beef imported. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they everything. Everything imported. That is and that is a livelihood. So the some places will be will appear unsold. Unsold. It, it ain't gonna have no more food in your groceries. And as yes, we telling you people there's no fucking no. Yeah. You feel us now we telling all you that? We telling I ain't the truth going on seven years. And since I come in the truth, we telling us that brothers he can't plead that the brother and them, um, big brother para, them in the truth years before me. The apostles and them fuck. Hmm. The, the, the apostles and them yeah. fuck them, them in the truth. They're kids. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Forget yes, me. Yes. <laughs> Forget yes. me. I know who come in. Them and the truth, they're kids. <laughs> Fuck me. I mean, no, no, no. I no, no, it's not the apostles and them and the truth, they're kids. Them telling all the same damn thing. And all they're in here, all they don't want to hear. They don't want to learn. They don't want to learn. Yeah, that's right. good. Exactly. And, and, Everything I everything I run school. Everything I run school in the kick now, I Show about that. Good. Yeah, precept. Yeah. Good precept there. The book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 6. It says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because. Exactly. Can. And as I always say, if, if not having knowledge, Destroyed us. What to reverse that destruction is not to buy a fucking build a big house or try to get the best life in this place. Mm -hmm. You're still destroyed. To reverse the destruction is to know, mm -hmm. to get knowledge. Because if they were destroyed for the lack of it, then getting it would reverse the destruction. It's fucking simple. Our problem is not. How smart we is. Our problem is not how how, how 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 much money we could accumulate. We don't have no financial problem. We don't have no intellectual problem. We don't have no um, business problem. It is not, it's not that the problem is not that we don't know how to unite. Because we fed up China. Mm -hmm. Our problem is that we don't serve the correct power on That's the right. face of the earth. That is the problem. That's right. We we're not in line with the Heavenly Father and the only begotten Son. So until we do that, we'll always be destroyed. Mm -hmm. We'll always be destroyed. Yes, we can't reverse that destruction. That is what we're supposed to know. We ain't supposed to get a PhD in, 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 in um, rocket science or, or, or max. That, that, that not, and and that goes solve your life. That's not going to solve shit. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is just give us some fiat currency notes, some, some paper notes for the wife to live a, 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 a more somewhat comfortable life. Because they will get a high paying job. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when you see job going on, jobs going on get cut. Very soon there will not be jobs. As you know it, jobs going on stop. You dependent on a man to feed you and your family. That going come to an end. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. going to come down to what power you serve. What is the name of your God and how well he could help? 
That is what going to come down to. Because right now, as your brother was going into, these Eastern Indians over there in uh, India, they're throwing away the gods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of gods on the street, the little mini excavator, racking them up and trying to squash them. Because why? Well, whoever they didn't have in, in, in the life, like if they, did, if they were, if they were intellectual beings and the, they had some high status in society and there was you know right or they had money or, the, or, the, or there was a, some philanthropist or whatever that knowledge couldn't do anything for them that's right how devoted they were to that idol could not do anything for mm -hmm. them So they realize that you is just a fucking piece of stone. Mm -hmm. So what you going to come down to in these days that we're coming into is what power you're serving. That's right. That's and right. what he could do for you. Knowledge. The scripture said the Lord is a power of knowledge. knowledge. And he destroyed for lack of it. So find out knowledge and he had to go to the heavenly father for that. The beginning of wisdom is the fear of the yeah, Lord. Lord you people don't know that. That way you will be destroyed continually and so my white man will have the foot up your ass. Mm -hmm. Well, it says in the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 18, it says, What profited the graven image that the maker thereof had graven it? The molten image and a teacher of lies that the maker of his work trusted therein. To make dumb idols. It says, Woe unto him that said to the wood, Awake, to the dumb stone, Arise, it shall teach. Behold, it is laid over with gold and silver, and there is no breath at all in the midst of it. But the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is in the holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai dwells, you know, in this temple, this, this body. No, because the temple is, the, is, 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 is this body that we have is the temple of the living power. Right. All right, it dwells in us. It doesn't dwell in temples built with hearts. All right, and it basically going into these idols, the idols that you all, all right, that you all trust in. And I'm not seeing it not working. Hey, not working. Hey, Jesus Christ is our idol. I'm done not working. A bunch of Christians out here right now and they don't know what's going on with the Jesus. JC failing them up. Right. JC him bringing nothing good, you know, in the house. Right. Because they're hungry. Right. You know? Hungry for this for this truth and all, but y'all can't get it truth. The truth is for the elect. Alright? Kind of. The Gwenon, as I was saying, come down to what power you say. Mm -hmm. Who is the power? What name you call it? Should just say Let me get out of the book of um, Romans chapter 10. Romans 10 and 13 and it, it says, For who for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Straight up. That's right. And one come up to that because right. in the days to come. Salvation will be sought for more than a PhD. Hmm. Salvation will be sought for more than a brand new house. Salvation will be sought for more than a female. Salvation will be sought for more than a car. Salvation will be sought for more than food. Salvation will be sought for more than water. Salvation will be sought for more than anything in this mm -hmm. world. Salvation will be sought for in the days to come. But the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushua is bringing the earth to that state. That's right. Because we gain rid of the vanity. And everything that is vain will be washed away. Washed away. And it's going to come down to who you calling on for that salvation. Mm -hmm. Are you going to call on an idol? Are you going to call on a piece of stone? Are you going to call on, a, on something that cannot help or cannot save you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or are you going to call on the true power that is able to save? That's right. Mighty to save, as the scripture says. That's right. The book of Proverbs, chapter 18 and verse 10. 
It says the name of the Lord Yahweh, but Hashem Shai is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. Right, the righteous will run into it. That is the elect. Will run into it and is safe. You people don't know the name of the Heavenly Father. And you need to know the name of the Lord in order to be saved. Yes, yes. The world comes into a point of confusion mm. on a level that nobody has ever seen on the face of the earth before. Yes, yes. Chaos all throughout. Mm -hmm. This is just the beginning. This lockdown and this stopping at the, the jobs and things is the beginning. Yes, yes. It comes into a point where there will, there, there will be no job at all. Um, the battery here though? No. Nah, Grinding the whole load. 1950. Uh, Isaiah. Book of Isaiah, chapter 19, and verse 15. Nine. Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 15, it says, Neither shall there be any work for Egypt which the head of tail the head or tail, branch or rush, may do. Right. Then go and no work. Then go and reach that point. Mm. Go and reach that point. There are no jobs. That's right. Food. No nothing. So That's what will you do? What will you right. do? Shall Shall What will you do? Shall we? Shall we? What will you do, man? Right. The only camera check. What will you do when them days come? Spread out. 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 When the song of the grand song, yeah, Ecclesiastes, Salah, The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 4, it says, And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the song of grinding is low, and he, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Yeah, all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Doors. And that, that, that's what I say. This, that don't happen on a my, these are minor skills. And the people don't start a ball. The people don't start a cry too hard. And they, they, these are minor skills. This is not, not enough. Man. We're going to escalate to a point and people don't know what the fuck going on. People don't know what the fuck, what the fuck going on. Chaos. Sit down and, and imagine chaos. On a level that like you never even think of. Right now, places looking like everything, like people are hopes of maybe 22 things back open. Back. And it may, I don't know, it may very well open back maybe 22. It may not, it may. But let me say it does. These people go and go back to the normal lives. Let me say the COVID should, should go. God forbid. These people go and go back to the life that they had and because this is their desire. Their desire is not our shy skin. Their desire is to see wickedness continue. That's why they don't like we. But we represent wickedness coming to our end and righteousness continue. These people's desire is to go back to a place where everything normal, everything good, everything so-called somewhat safe. Their, their so-called normal lives. That is your desire. Let me say it does. Let me say it does. It does go back to right? You say it does go back to And that someday, that that scripture is going to come down for you. Someday the scripture has to be fulfilled. That's right. So, if it go back to that and when you get back comfortable, then hey, the scripture still has to stand because the word of the Lord, the word that you want, void, must come to pass. That is why we stand up out there here. We believe that. That's right. We fully believe that. You know? That's right. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. The book of Philippians, right? Chapter 3. Yeah, chapter 3. And verse, start at verse 18. It says, For many walk of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Hamashiach. Right, so that is the people of Jai. And the Apostle Paul is talking about breaking out Jake's who was so calling the Lord. They didn't really love the Lord. See, if you love the Lord, they'll do things that the Lord said. Straight up, because they love the Lord. That's right. That's right. They love the Lord. They believe in Him, they love Him, they do what He tells us. Straight up, no excuse. So they, they were enemies at the cross of Yahusha. People outside their enemies are the cross of Yahusha, Yahusha. They hate him. They hate Yahusha like he do or something. Right. Right. We didn't know it says in verse 19, whose end is destruction. Right. Because I despise the Lord. I despise the Lord. They will be destroyed. Right. 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 The, the, what, what I could gain, what I could gain in this life. But foods, yes, but on a deeper level, it's how much things that I have, what satiated them in the life. What was it? What they can then be satisfied in life? The flesh. Ultimately, is that. But on a, on a, on a lesser scale, these fuckers love to eat as well. Some of them actually worship the guts. Mm -hmm. The belly, they love the guts. They like to eat. They like the gifts. That's why when gifts, you was closing them now. But they went and buy thousands of dollars in them. Because, hey, how to eat that? For your mother. You got this close on my love, yes, sir. My love. <laughs> Who does that happen? Who the fuck does that? Only if your body is your belly. Yeah. Right. You know, it says, whose glory is their shame. Right, the glory in this world and it will be the shame. It will be put, that will be put to all your shame. Mm -hmm. Glory in this Babylon. Right. That's right. It says, who mind, who mind earthly things. Right. Who mind earthly things. All you can think about is things on the dirt, and as I was coming down, I was coming down with the car, and I was saying, I was meditating on that, like two days ago or something. When the Heavenly Father put us on this dirt, it wasn't a, a, It wasn't our riches, it wasn't what the earth gave It wasn't gold, it wasn't silver, it wasn't oil. Precious stones. That wasn't. That wasn't riches. That not supposed to be riches. That is just like a byproduct of knowing the Lord. Because by knowing the Lord, you will get all that. The scriptures say, "Seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh, and shall be all shy." And all these things will be added unto you. But some people, they mind earthly things. Their mind is totally on that. They, they, they can't think about nothing else. It's about gain. What to gain? What to gain? If I could gain more money. If I Again, more gold, more house, more land. Gain, 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 gain. Right. The mind, earthly things. Our mind, we, we wasn't put on earth here. No, riches is not what the earth could give you. Riches is knowing you how about Shami how shy. That is true riches. Not what the earth produce. The earth produce a lot of fruits, I go and sell my fruits and you can make plenty more. That is not true riches. The earth produce gold, I stock up most gold, I RL gold, I the richest man on you. That is not riches. Because that can't do shit for you. That can't do nothing for you. The scripture says trust not in uncertain riches. When I know I'm first, first Timothy 6. And I believe verse 9. 9, verse 17, verse 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16
Yeah, yeah this is the book. Three percent. Yeah. Book of First Timothy chapter six. I start at verse sixteen. It says, "Who only had immortality, dwelling in the light, which no man can approach unto, whom no man had seen, nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting." Man it says, "Charge them." That are rich in this world that they be not high minded nor trust in uncertain riches uncertain riches riches not certain because hey the earth produce that yeah the earth, the earth produce oil and people take oil the power value on it they say it's highly valuable and the, 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 the rich of it so the man who dig it up and, and store it in abundance had the most money and he called himself the richest man in the be able to live the best life. Right? Earth give you that, the earth give you gold, the earth. But all these things, when the, the one who created the earth come in the earth to require of you what kind of life you did live on the earth. Them things can do shit for you right now. But knowing he would be would put you in a position of advantage because why? You, you did the things that he said to do. So when he come to judge you, you will be safe. He will watch you and say, all right, I, I got with you, you got with me, I got with you, I know you know. But the rest, he will fuck up. Shall be the Porsche. Right. Yeah. Says, says, they be not high-minded or trusting on certain riches, but in the living power. Right, I know so it's a trust. I will buy shit me out shit. Who gave it us richly all things to enjoy. Right, and ultimately that is this word. And then and then a byproduct of knowing the Lord as I said. Because he is one of his sons and he see hey, they deny this world and they deny what the earth could reap and give. I'll give you all things. I'll give you I'll give you a gold. I will go with Solomon, King Solomon. Yeah. King Solomon said, you could have prayed for her, you could have asked for anything. He said, Lord, I really am truly. I just want the wisdom how to judge your people. And the Lord said, hey, because you asked for this, I will give you. What the fuck? Hey, hey. Ah, let me see which part that is. Nah. Second Samuel chapter. That's it. Second Samuel chapter. Which is perfect, nothing. Yeah, I pray. So you got my time. I probably in the man in the man for. Book of Proverbs chapter 11 verse 4 It says riches profit not in the day of wrath You don't profit nothing in the day of wrath Because hey, guess what? That money you're saving up can't save you from them looks of coming You understand? That money you're saving up there That chip in your hand can't save you from hey, The destruction when the heavenly father have prepared for you You understand? The gold chain, the ring all of them things profited nothing in the DRR. Alright, because the Lord didn't care about that. Alright? It says, it says, but righteousness delivered from death. Righteousness delivered from death. Alright? Just like when, when it had the, the first exodus. How we, how, we, how we was able to pass through that, that death. Alright? By putting the, the blood of the lamb on the lentil. That was the sign to show that hey, we safe. Understand? You have a shame you shy. Want to keep us safe from that destruction. Won't come in. You know? It's just that. This is your church. No one you have a shame you have a shame. Everybody's a poor person, right? People don't know why you're a poor person, right? I don't know where you where you come on out to call. You fuck them come on out to be what? So, is there exist? Is there exist? You come on out to just exist? You come on out to serve the heavenly father and you only got to serve. That is, that is the reason why, well, ultimately the Israelites. Yeah, man. 
Yeah, I'm a tear easy book. Um, first King Chapter 3 and Ghost. Right. I read from, um, from 7. It says, And now, O Yahweh, my power, thou hast made thy servant king instead of my father, instead of David, my father. And I am but a little child, and know not how to go or out, how to go out or come in. And thy servant in the midst is in the midst of thy people. Which thou hast chosen a great people that cannot be numbered, accounted for them. Give therefore thy servant understanding and understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this thy so great a people? And the speech pleased the Lord Yahweh that Solomon asked this thing. And the Most High said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither, asked, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thy enemies, but hast asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart, so that, so that there was none like he before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. That is why Yahusha is Solomon. That is why Yahusha is Solomon because he said what great Lord said. Does he say? Does he say in person? He says, and I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor. You see, he said, I you ain't asked for this, but because you asked to do the right thing by me. How to teach my people, I will give you the riches. Riches, as I say, is a byproduct of serving heaven. The Father is not, is not having this world. That cannot do anything for you when the heavenly Father will require the right that you did on the earth or the wrong. It can't do nothing for you. All I'm going to do for you is just ultimately corrupt you more and more because riches does corrupt. It's about that, it's about that whole conclusion of the matter. That's what we call the mark, you know. The block of Yashala, he left. Men that this, this bird really touching your spirit. Alright? It's about the whole conclusion of the matter. Pain, yeah, oh, bash, and you keep the commandments. When you keep the commandments, your prayers will be heard. But you keep in the commandments, you'll be rewarded. Hey, but life, you know? You want riches so bad, you come and follow you, but I shouldn't be shy sincerely. You know? And you'll get it. Why not? Okay. It's just patience it's just men patience. doesn't have. Men doesn't have patience to suffer. A good patience means to suffer. Hey, you're coming. Men just come into this thing because they know it has riches in. That ain't men that be joining up. Because it's high riches involved. Just in the word. It's riches in itself. Knowing the Lord and knowing what we have. Hey, Christians just can't even stand up. Sure. Christians just flee. Like cockroach when they see light. They just flee. Because what we have, we immensely and richly know the heavenly fire. So men just come and they know it. But what has gone? They just lost patience. And because of the patience, they're expecting the Lord to give them that riches physically. Quick! And they watch two, three years gone by and they see nothing by the same by now. I have a life to live, I was living. And you tell me something and, and, and I ain't getting it yet with the hell. I want I had to go and make something of myself in this life. Because I get old that. I start to watch the age going down and they reach 35. And they say by I get in old that and I still in this thing and I still catch on my ass. But I go back out there and try and get. But I ain't gonna do nothing there. Well, the book of Sirach chapter 2 and starting at verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thine heart aright and constantly endure. And make not haste in time of trouble. 
cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. At your last end? Yamo? Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Isaac, Isaac, if you want the increase, you gotta fucking wait for the increase. Men just come into this and then bust out because the, 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 the who patience in them to hold on. To hold on. To just wait another two minutes, another three minutes. Now they're agitated, now they had a guy, but I need it. Have patience, Lord, say have patience, have patience. Scripture said he has been for life, not a man that he should lie. He has the son of man that he should repent. Be patient. Well, the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4, and I'll start at verse Verse 9, it says, Do thy diligence to come shortly unto me. For Demas had forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departed unto Thessalonica, Crescens to Galatia, Titus unto Dal Dalmatia. He must forsake Paul because he loved this life. Scripture says, Love not the world. Neither the things that are in the world. Right. Love it not. Woman, that, that, that include you fucking woman. Yeah, you're gonna love your bird. But not above the heavenly father. Not above me. To the point where a girl telling you what to do and what not to do. Don't go out and do the work today. Stay on one line with me now, bitch. And you are here in the shit. You can't do that. Works and stuff and teach because why? Money in fun. You can't do that. These are things that the world and these things will perish in due time. And we need to get an eye perishing. Stores closed down. People out of jobs, people homeless. People getting put out of the houses because they can't pay rent. This is a thing that wasn't seen five years ago, ten years ago, fifteen years ago. You people wasn't hurt. You people wasn't enjoying life. But because the prophets outside here prophesied and bringing it down to that time, but reaching day, they will reach. Help yourself, man. Help yourself. The book of Mark, Mark the fourth chapter, and verse. I start at verse 18. And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as the other word, and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the loss of other things entering in, choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. Right? Huh? Right? So as he was mentioning, you can't love your woman, you can't love anything more than the heavenly father, with, to the point that you ain't being fruitful in this. You ain't coming out and doing the works, you ain't doing your videos, you ain't being around the fellowship because of some damn woman or some other external thing that you have gravitated your, your, your love to. Most I say to, to set your heart aright. And setting your heart aright is to set your heart on Him. Come back to the Heavenly Father. For too long we have been playing the Hallowed with many lovers. We, we went into the ways of the, the, the heathens, you know. It had this um, philosophy, the Epicurean, right. lovers of what? Pleasures. All people were open to them different ways and philosophies. Now is the time for them to be reformed. Now is the time of, re as you kept saying, Romans 12 and verse 2, the renewing of your mind. Because what made us come to this lower state in this position is taking our hearts off of Yahweh Basham Yahushai doing his, his will. I will just keep the saying, let me get that in um, Galatians 4. Galatians 4 and 8. But the most I say what? I am a jealous power. So anything you give him, more time than him. She does say jealousy is the rage of a man. So you go in and execute some form of wrath or correction upon your friend. 
So they shall shut the farm those gates. So it's how great when he knew not the most high, mm -hmm. he did service unto them which are which by nature are no problems. Yes, yeah, so the way we lived, you know, some of us were, would have been servants to women, servants to money. Coming into the truth, that is not the mentality you're supposed to, that is not the behavior you're supposed to carry on with. You know, you're not supposed to devote your whole self to anything else except this ministry. I skipped us just seeing that we have got this mercy, you know. A lot of people out there in the world, they ain't get the privilege of coming. As the Allah Apostle go back there and listen to the what um what makes what or who chooses or causes a man to come before Yahweh Bashami Yahweh Shai. He does. The most high does that. He gives you that, that privilege, that gift. Alright? Psalm 65 verse 4. It's a blessing. So being that he called us to this, we receive such mercy, we had to faint not. And things that could cause it to faint is, is trying to live, um, or trying to go two ways, trying to serve two masters. Scripture says you go love one and you're going to be hating the other. So you have to really make up your mind what you're standing for. What? Psalm 65? 65? 65 was one. And this is the book. Of Psalm 65, verse 4, mm -hmm. it says, Blessed is the man whom thou chosest and causes to approach unto thee, that he may dwell in thy courts. But what he said, he said, show diligence to make your calling and election sure. sure. He chose you, but it ain't sure. Un until you, 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 you last until the end. He said, if you keep my words, then are ye my disciples indeed. But it says, we shall be satisfied. We with shall be what? We shall be satisfied. When you reach any truth, you have to be satisfied with this. Wherever state you end up at, you have to be satisfied with that. Alright? This truth is not about being rich and high and mighty. Alright? Be here for a humbling. This is our time of humbling. That's why the scripture says it will be increased at what? The last end. What's going to happen at the last end? The last end between the end right now and very soon, the last, the last trumpet is going to blow, the seventh, and the, the Messiah is going to crack them skies. And he's going to give every man according as the work shall be. Right. You're going to have riches, you're going to have wealth. You say you're going to set your life. Right. Go ahead. He says, satisfied with the goodness of the house, mm -hmm. even of thy holy temple. You'll be satisfied. That's why the Lord prayer goes, give us this day our daily bread. That shows some form of satisfaction. Enough to, enough to survive in this wicked place. We skip just saying um, proverbs. Is it proverbs? to take and verse start at four. education system now, pass for a good school, a college perhaps, then when you reach in that college, you get your passes, when you get your passes now, you seek a higher level learning, go to a university, get your bachelor degrees, your diploma, you understand, take certain courses, get higher learning, so that you can be qualified, then get some experience, and now a lot of you Jakes, you haven't been able to reach thus far. A lot of you, you get your passes and now where do you meet it? You sit at home. And soon and very soon you're gonna have to use them passes to wipe your ass. That's just the mere reality. Because this place is going down. 
the heavenly father has proclaimed an end to this place. This place has an end. What you don't understand is we live in biblical time. All right, and the, what, is, what is biblical time? Biblical time is the things that the heavenly father has spoken to the mouth of his prophets that was written and they come to pass today. They must come to pass. That's right. And each and every era or each and every nation that has ruled, their time came to an end. And right now the so-called white man is ruling. He set up a system. He set up the education system. He, he set up the world that is now with all your doctor, your careers, your, your different um, employment, your different jobs, your different um, opportunities. He set them thing up. And the Heavenly Father about to throw him down. So all the things that he set up about to come down as well. But here you all were leaning upon that broken reed. Scripture talk about that. So while it's coming down, you're going to come down too. And you're all feeling it. It's, it's all vanity and lies. And King Solomon said it. And why he said the things that was written aforetime was written for our learning. But you all don't like to read the Bible. You'd rather read some textbook you know, made by some man that making millions of dollars a day. Temporal riches. True riches is within the scripture, the knowledge of the Heavenly Father. And I believe one of them quoted that. A thorough, a thorough understanding of the Bible is better than a college, a college degree. A president of the United States quoted A former president. Chapter 12 and verse 24. Right? It says, For there shall be no more any vain vision, no flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. No more prolonged. In your days, because why? Right, and this, this, this is the year 2021, as crowned by our captain, our leader, El Apostle your he is now unto the coming of our Lord. All right. So through that spirit, are we the prophets pushing today on the earth? Most I say he is going to hasten it in his time. He right. say he's going to shorten the days for the elect's sake. And we believe through the spirit that there are elect among us. They are elect in great mercy. That's right. All right. So the the elect being in that, that mindset of getting out of here quickly, looking for and hasting unto the coming of our Lord, he's going to do it. Well, says for in your days, O rebellious house, mm -hmm. will I say the word and will perform it. And how we say in the word? We say in the word to the men. That is how we say in the word. The men that you send out on the highways and hedges, that come out here and speak, reprove, get into the scriptures, speak up according to the oracles, of the heavenly father yeah. all right this is this is how he speaks when and will perform it say the lord how about shape your shy power he's not a man that you should like will perform it yeah. he ain't gonna let them words return his words are not he's not td jakes he's not joyce myers or joel esteem it's the power of heaven and we'll be talking about the one that that wrote everything before it taking place yeah. He proclaimed the end from the beginning. Book of Proverbs chapter 30, we did on from sorry, back at the end. It says seven. from seven. It says two things have I, have I required of thee. Deny me them not before I die. Remove far from me vanity and lights. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Eat me with food convenient for me. And what is that food convenient? That food convenient is this is this scripture, knowledge. This will go in and sustain us. Alright? This, this is the one, there's the, the nourishment for our bones. Scripture the first said this as what the sincere milk. Jeremiah said thy words were found and I did eat them. This is what you have to be fed with. In order for you to be fully equipped. With ways to come and to be stable. See, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your time. Those of you that haven't eaten of this rule, in that day, you're gonna be shaky. I just when the scripture go back in, going to Isaiah 8, 8 and um, 
verse Wait, is that a verse 20? Isaiah 8, Isaiah 8 and 20 the book of Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20 mm -hmm. it reads to the law and to the testimony mm -hmm. if they speak not according to this word it is because there is no light in them go ahead you know it says and they shall pass through it hardly be, be steep and hungry instead and hungry so it, it just verse 20 was talking about the law and the testimony the words that he have been father and then the next verse start talking about they shall go to it hardly be said and hungry in the real sense they're talking about how they didn't take in the words they're going and be in a spiritually hungry state they're going and be weak they're going to go to it hardly be said and hungry not knowing the things that the heavenly, heavenly father prescribed for them to know to be stable or strong in them times So what we're doing is eating, eating. As I am the scripture saying, Psalms 119 verse 11, thy words have I hid in my heart. Your mind, that spiritual belly. So that in the days to come, it will have stories like, it's like the camel. But the camel, a desert creature, you know, a desert beast. There are means of transport in the desert. What the camel does is drink enough water for the long journey. And that is what we do. doing. We're drinking enough water for that long journey that is ahead. What that journey comprises of Jacob's trouble. He said we're going to be as pilgrims on the earth. Scripture talks about if you gather nothing in your youth, where you going to have in the age. And he says, seek ye Lord while he may be found. Right? Somebody else. Matthew 4. Matthew 4 and 4. It says, but he answered it. And said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High. That is it. That is how man live. By the words of the Heavenly Father. And you're going to see that literally. But some of you might be saying, well, let's go eat and just read now. That is what these scoffers will say. It's an understanding. What we're saying is, this is more important than the carnal food. Knowledge of the heavenly father, fear of the heavenly father is more than the more than carnal food, and it's true that we're gonna be able to eat because he said, My servant shall eat and they shall drink. Okay, one here, yeah, this man Job 23 and 11. It says, My foot, my foot had held his steps, his way have I kept and not declined. Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. That is it. Because why? The Heavenly Father, He is the one, He is the one putting us through this. He putting us through this, so we we bear it. We bear it now. You understand? We're not gonna sell out to eat good. We're not gonna sell out to the to the enemy. To make sure that we cupboards always full and we fridge always back. If serving the Lord means hunger and, and you're eating today and tomorrow in it, we're doing that. Because he promised are increasing at the last end. We're gonna have a banquet. That um um I wanted to I wanted to attack Israel. But he didn't fend strong right or wrong. And, and some Edomites and some Moabites come up uh, and they say, they say that don't fight these people with war. They give all of them, which is the second in command to the king of the time. Don't fight these people with war. Don't fight these people with war. Fight these people. Not with war, but starve them to death. Let everybody go. Cut off the water supply because I had to get water from a certain place, cut it off, and let all of them drop dead from um, thirst. So it reached like 34 days in the month and there was well thirsty. So the, the, the went, people went to the high priest at the time, and the high priest said, In five days, if the Lord help we, 
be you go and sell out to the um, you go and bow down to them and Judah come up and rebuke them very sharp for that. Say what well, madness all you're telling if the Lord are we to hunger, let we remain hungry. If the Lord say we had to remain hungry, we had to remain hungry, we ain't going to sell out right. and bow down to them because them going to oppress we way more than the Lord could ever um, make me feel hungry. You understand? But then the Lord had she do what she went down there. But that is what brother was now saying. Eh? If the Lord had to remain hungry, they fuck that, we had to go through that. Like, we had to take that with the Lord. Let's go.